Hey guys, Michael here from Fat to Fit and welcome to another video. So today's video is just going to be a bit of an update talking about how I'm feeling and how things are going in the last week of my cut and at the start of the video I sounded a bit more chipper than I probably will be throughout the video because this week has been going pretty tough with the cut. So it's week 15 of my cut, technically week 16, but week 15 of the cut, 16 weeks of cutting because I took that one week off. So it's been 15 to 16 weeks of me being on this cut and it is finally starting to take its toll. Now, I have to say that throughout this whole cut compared to my last one, it has been pretty good with the feelings of tiredness, hunger, fatigue, that kind of thing. Like, I barely felt it throughout the whole cut. And then it just seems like this week it's been like, bam! It's all hit me for the past, um, so it's currently uh, Wednesday, so for the past three to four days I've just been tired every single day, workouts have been really hard, they haven't been the best, cardio has been really hard, and I've just been so hungry, not all the time, but there are those times throughout the day where I haven't, where it's been a few hours after breakfast or lunch or dinner or something like that, and my stomach feels like it wants to eat itself, but... I've gone through it and normally I keep doing my snacking, doing little things, chewing gum, drinking water, that kind of thing, thing does help a lot, but it's still not gonna, still not gonna help a whole lot when it's constant and it's that last week of the cut. My theory is that my body knows it's the last week of my cut and so it's just fighting me, it's just trying to make it as bad and as worse as it can, and it's just not making me feel that great at all. I've also noticed I've been more snippy as well, uh, losing my temper a lot more easily, um, especially um, with the dogs, family, that kind of thing, and it's just, it's just not the most ideal thing to be happening, but it's part of the process and it's normally what a lot of people go through towards the end of any weight loss or um, cutting phase like that when you start to lose more and more body fat. This this is not ideal. You do not want to be constantly cutting and constantly feeling like this because it's not only going to drain you physically, but it's really going to take its toll on your mental health. Well, it's only been like four days where I've been feeling really tired like this and it's all it's already taking a toll on me. So imagine going weeks or months and months on end feeling like this. It's not it's not going to be the best for you. It's not going to be, be the best for your life or the people around you and it's not something you want to be maintaining all year around. But in saying that, I am looking quite a lot better um, in terms of my physique. I'll be doing a final update kind of thing, which is something I've been working on and I'm really, really going to be proud of this video when it's done. So um, keep an eye out for that. But I am looking quite a bit leaner. I can see I've gained more muscle compared to last year, which is great, which I did. I gained about 10 kilos more according to my last DEXA scan, which is awesome. So Unfortunately, the better you start looking when it comes to your physique, the worse you're probably going to feel when you're in a dieting phase. So that's just part of the process as well. And that's something a lot of people around the world have dealt with and are currently dealing with now. But speaking of updates, I am going for my DEXA scan this Saturday. So I did a DEXA scan at the start of my cut, so that was my very first everyday weight loss episode, so go check that out if you haven't and don't know what a DEXA scan is, and I'll be doing another one this Saturday to see exactly how my body has changed, and um, hopefully, I know it's changed for the better from observation, but hopefully I haven't lost too much muscle and most of the weight loss was fat, which is what I'm really hoping for with this DEXA scan, and that's the whole reason I get the DEXA scan in the first place. So I think I've pretty much updated you guys on everything except current macros. I'm around on around 17 to 1800 calories per day, which is not that much at all, but it's a lot more than last year's cut because by this point I was on about 1500 calories, which um, in hindsight that was pretty low. So I'm not, I haven't gone that low. 17 to 1800 calories is pretty good. Cardio is pretty much happening every day, but I'm alternating hit and list. 
So hit high intensity is normally sprinting on the treadmill, which I'm going to do a whole video on this topic actually, because quite a few people do ask about it. And then the other day I'll do um, 40 minutes of lists, so just low intensity, something like the elliptical or walking on the treadmill, etc, etc. So I think pretty much that's everything to update you guys with. The main thing was how I'm feeling, which is not the best, just tired all the time, but hopefully from Saturday onwards that is going to change because I am not tracking anything this weekend. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please, please, please give the video a thumbs up comment down below if you want to say anything to me and I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you later guys.